Hi everybody, it's Happy Mail Queen. Happy Wednesday to everyone. Today I'm sharing some embellishments that I made just using some of my older and new dies. So let me go ahead and show you my very first one. And I did title this video, Do You Want a Trick or a Treat? Because I am going to share some Halloween treats that I made. And for the first one, I'm using this stitched ice cream cone die that was gifted to me by my friend Phyllis. Hey girl, thank you so much for this. I finally got to use it. I didn't cut out the scoop, um, the here's the scoop word or phrase, but I did put the ice cream together. So here they are. So I started out with um, just some pink um, cardstock and this is the one that has some specks of silver on it. And I think this is from Joann's, the paper, the pink paper. And then I used some glossy black um, cardstock from Michaels. And this bow here is from another die, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. I just had an extra bow, so I added it right there. And then these are um, just some um, clay slices that was from a sequence pack, I guess, or just some sprinkles, I guess. Um, and that's from my stash. And then I used another gem spider from Hobby Lobby. And then I added um, just a die cut uh, spider web there in the back. So I thought that was super cute. And then this one here, I made it orange and um, again used the same papers except for this one is orange glitter cardstock from Hobby Lobby and then um, for the sprinkles on this one I used the clay slices from Alina Craft which is part of um, some other I just kind of picked out the eyeballs but um, it's from a, another mix um, but yeah that was from my design team from Alina Craft and then uh, put another spider there and I just thought they're so cute and ready to go so there is your treat for my next die I used a KS craft die which is a ghost shaker so this is your trick here <laughs> not treat <laughs> um, I had to put these ghosties together I finally was able to um, and this is a shaker I'm sure a lot of you guys have this by now um, if you're into ghosts um, but it's just so cute I had to put it together so I just used some sequence mix from my stash there's some C right sequence in there and um, again those uh, fun little like peppermint looking ones the black ones and I forget from what sequence mix that is from I think it's like um I don't know if it's buttons galore or one of those <laughs> one of those um, uh, clay sequence mixes from scrapbook.com I think and um, yeah this one I mostly put pink sequins in there but it's so cute with the little bow and I decided to pretty much keep my colors the same the black and the white and the pink and orange and then I did cut out the trick or treat because it does come with this die die set and um, it's a little bit tedious though because it cuts out like every um, single letter instead of you know just one die that just keeps it all together so you do have to um, glue uh, every single letter or so unfortunately but anyway it it came out cute um, next time though I think I will use um, a black background for the pink right here because it does kind of you know it doesn't pop as much as if I was if I had used a black background but anyway though those are um, the little embellishments that I made and then the last one I finally got to play with another KS craft die that um, I did haul it's the caramel apple shaker and it's such a cute die 
Um, I just hadn't had a chance to play with it. And I also used um, one of my Michael's new dies, this one right here. Not all of them, but I used the spider web and the ghost. So um, I did put this together. And how cute is that? I put the little ghosty on top and um, I put two bows on the top and just kind of, um, you know, um, staggered them a little bit so you can see the um, other bow behind the black bow. Um, use some Alina Craft bling, um, some shaker bits again. And then the spider right he here was given to me by Robin, who is uh, Ladybug Ortiz. And um, that was, um, I received that recently from her happy mail that she sent me. So thank you so much, Robin. And then here's the spider web. I used um, a uh, paper again from, I think from Joann's, which is a holographic paper that I absolutely love. And then of course I had to do a pink version. So here's the pink version. So uh, again, my apple is black and then this is supposed to be the caramel here, but it's a pink caramel obviously <laughs> or a strawberry flavored caramel maybe so um i did add some of the these little um, clay slices and that one is from creative mojo wholesale studio so um, i did whip that out and it's so cute and um yeah just to let you guys know she uh creative mojo wholesale studio um does have some new stuff in her shop so check that out um and you know use the coupon code that um well you can use my coupon code if you'd like um i thought i saw tony post a 20 percent off coupon though so you might want to use that that is craft purge so anyway just wanted to um, let you guys know that in case you wanted to purchase um, something from her shop so she is up and running now her, with her new website so that's exciting so that is my project share for today so which one did you guys like best so let me know on your comments below thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later bye